Hello everyone, this is Janice with Cricutology.blogspot.com and I am doing part two of this card um, which is just showing you how I did this background paper right here. Um, I've gotten this far on my card. See part one to see how I made this multi-panel card. I've already put together my image from Gypsy Wanderings cut at three inches and here is my little white panel which is one and seven eighths wide by four and a quarter long. Okay, now this stamp here is a acrylic stamp or clear stamp from Kaiser Craft and it's called Offshore and I don't know if it's available anymore. I got it when CHA was here in Orlando, the one and only time they had the show here in Orlando. That was so cool. So glad I went. Okay, so here's what I did. I am using this acrylic paint dabber from Adirondack. It's the snow cap. It comes in a three pack with the espresso and a um, black one. And what you do is you apply the paint so easy to use. I absolutely am loving it. You don't have to apply too much pressure. You just stamp away. And yes, it's white on white, and you'll see why in a minute. Or in a moment, not in a minute. It is pretty quick to dry, but I'm going to use my heat tool to speed it up a little bit. And when I'm done with the video, I'm going to wash this stamp under some warm water with some soap because if you leave it it's just a little bit harder to come off it's still I mean it cleans up pretty pretty easy okay and there's a little top go ahead and cap it and apply some meat Do it. All right. Now, what we need to do is get our blending tool and our tumbled glass distress ink. And what happens is the ink resists, uh, not the ink, the paint resists the ink. And um, I'm also going to use a, a little um, towel that I keep close to my table to wipe up things like this. You could use a wet wipe, but my wet wipes are really, really wet. And um, all I want to do is make sure that don't have any distress ink on the white but you can see already it's a um, pretty pretty neat effect so I'm just going to take my little towel and just rub away any ink that might be on the blue I mean on the white on the paint isn't that neat I love that I just love that Okay, and then we're going to take this piece, it's going to go right there, but before, I do have a stamp. I, want to... I love this stamp that I got at Michael's, it's probably my favorite one. I thought of you today and a smile landed on my face. I'm using my favorite, new, other favorite tool, which is the stamp -a jig I've already stamped it there, and I'm using the black soot ink. The black slit distress ink. It stamps really well. So I'm just going to line this up here where I want it. I want it on the, in the middle. Oops. Just want to line it up perfectly. One of the things I always wondered 
and I saw people using this tool is how do you clean it and I've never seen anybody actually show that part and it's really easy see how nice and crisp that is you can take your towel and just wipe it and that's been on there probably for a couple hours and it's still wiped clean <clears throat> or just a wet wipe you know assigned to and I'm just gonna go ahead and put that there and I'm gonna add some dimension to my dragonfly with one of my homemade dimensional. Just gonna cut a little strip. Just put one down here. Put one on the opposite wing on the top. One in the middle and little bit on the tail. Just a skinny strip on the tail. we have it all done I hope you enjoyed my card and have a great day thanks for watching bye